Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to start a new chapter of spectroscopy. It's called X-ray spectroscopy. Uh, very important chapter for semester exam point of view as well as very important for CSIR NET exam preparations. In this particular video, we are going to uh, discuss about X-ray uh, diffraction uh, absorption fluorescence related to X-ray spectroscopy. So basically what is the X-ray spectroscopy? The basic introduction of X-ray spectroscopy is uh, the X-ray spectroscopy is a general term for several spectroscopic technique for characterization of materials by using X-ray excitation. So basically uh, X-ray spectroscopy is a kind of technique that we uh, we Def, uh, we uh, read about many uh, spectroscopic techniques like uh, IR, Visibles, Raman. So this is one of the kind of uh, technique. Um, in this technique, we use X-ray uh, as a radiation source because X-ray is also electromagnetic radiation and we use X-ray as a radiation source in X-ray spectroscopy. Wavelength of X-ray is 0 0.01 to 10 nanometer R we can also call 0 0.1 to 100 Armstrong and for analytical purpose 0 0.07 to 0 0.2 nanometer and uh, uh, are we also called 0 0.7 to 2 Armstrong is most useful. So basically this uh, wavelength uh, is very useful for analytical purpose in X-ray spectroscopy. So basically these are the basic introduction about X-ray spectroscopy. Now uh, we are uh, we are going to discuss about the diagrammatic representation of mechanism of X-ray spectroscopy. These are the mechanism of X-ray spectroscopy in this uh, diagram. Uh, we discuss about the mechanism. So basically, we use uh, radi as a radiation source X-ray as a radiation source when incident X-ray uh, strike the sample. This is a sample. It's a, a sample is certain crystal structure. Uh, the, cert, uh, the sample will have certain crystal structure. When incident X-ray strike a sample, then three kind of radiations emitted. Three kind of radiation we get up when X-ray incident X-ray strike sample. So uh, first is diffracted radiation. Second is transmitted radiation. Uh, third is fluorescence radiation. So these are the three important radiation of we get after incident X-ray strike the sample. So when X-ray uh, when what happen what is the diffracted radiation? So basically, diffracted radiation is completely depend on atoms present in the sample. Uh, when incident uh, when incident X-ray strike the sample, uh, then some X-ray uh, some X-rays are uh, diffracted means we get um, uh, we get this radiations in many angles. So these are the diffracted radiations and this diffracted radiation has completely depend on atoms present in the sample, atoms structure present in the sample. Uh, and uh, second is transmitted radiation. To use transmitted radiation, we calculate the absorption. So basically, when incident X-ray strikes the sample, some, some radiations are absorbed by sample uh, and, and, uh, and others, rest of the other radiations will uh, Come as a trans uh, come as a transmitted radiation. So when we want absorption radiation, so we uh, we minus transmitted radiation and incidence radiation, then we get absorption radiation. So basically, sim uh, simply we said uh, samples uh, samples are absorbed some radiation, and these radiations are called absorption absorb absorption radiation. And uh, third is uh, fluorescence radiation. To understand the concept of fluorescence, we have to uh, we have to discuss it in diagrammatic way. Uh, when incident radiation strike a sample, uh, atom atom of sample and the present and in in atom present some electrons. So when incident radiation uh, strike a um, electron, then electron came in excited state and uh, excited and uh, this electron uh, just move out from this inner cell to outer cell and after some time this excited states electron will also came down in inner cell and this electron will some emit some radiation and this radiation are called fluorescence and the wavelength okay and the a wavelength of this fluorescence is very longer than incident radiation. So basically, uh, the wavelength higher than uh, incident radiation, the wavelength of fluorescence. So these are the basic concept of fluorescence. I hope you understood. 
and now the uh, x-ray defect uh, okay after the this mechanism we have to understand that based on three radiation okay when we get three radiations so the, based on this three radiation x-ray spectroscopic cate categories into three categories okay first is x-ray diffraction second is x-ray absorption and third is x-ray emission so what is the x-ray diffraction uh, xrd is also called xrd so x-ray diffraction is this method are based on the scattering of x-ray by crystal okay crystal in the sense we use sample as a in crystal form so when uh, uh, when in this method when x-ray are scattering uh, by crystal so this when we get some radiation this radiation are called x-ray diffraction by using this method uh, by using this method analyst can easily identify the crystal structure of any solid compound or sample with high degree of specific specificity and accuracy so when uh, some when any analyst anal, anal, want to analyze some uh, compound a sample uh, they easily identify the crystal structure of that sample these are the uh, very important application you have to say uh, about the x-ray diffraction and third is xrd is extremely important method as compared to other x-ray spectroscopy as compared to other in the sense x-ray absorptions and x-ray emission or x-ray emission um, are x-ray uh, uh, x-ray fluorescence spectroscopy so basically xrd is extremely important method as compared to other x-ray spectroscopy and second important is x-ray absorption so x-ray absorption this is similar to absorption method in other region of electromagnetic spectra like ultraviolet visible ir spectroscopy it is him. so basically this is similar to absorption method as like ultraviolet uh, when when we are study about ultraviolet spectroscopy ri spectroscopy so we use same kind of method that we use in x-ray absorptions and it gave information about the absorbing material and in this method a beam of x-ray is passed through the sample and the fraction of x-ray photon absorb is considered to be a measure of concentration of the sample this method is least used as compared to other x-ray method other other x-ray method like x-ray diffraction and uh, x-ray fluorescence or x-ray emission so these are the least used least important method uh, and it is used only to detect imperfection in the internal structure elemental analysis thickness measurement etc so basically it is used only to detect okay it is used only to detect imperfection in internal structure of uh, sample and elemental analysis of any given compound and thickness measurement of compound okay so these are the uh, important uh, i think it's called uh, limitations of that method and these are the important basic introduction about x-ray absorptions and very important uh, topic very important um, topic related to semester exam point of view because uh, it is also came in exam as an individual question like what is x-ray absorptions now the third important type of uh, category of x-ray spectroscopy is x-ray fluorescence or it's also called x-ray emission so in this method x-ray are generated within the sample and uh, and by measuring the wavelength and intensity of the generated x-ray analyst can perform qualitative as well as quantitative analysis so these are the basic introduction basic important point about x-ray fluorescence or x-ray emission it is also least uh, important uh, than other method of uh, uh, other method of spectroscopy means very important method is only x-ray diffraction so uh, i hope you understood the concept all x-ray spectroscopic method non-destructive it is very important point because all spectroscopic method are non-destructive so i hope you understand the concept of x-ray fluorescence so basically uh, uh, we we discuss once again what is fluorescence so basically incident radiation when you strike a uh, inner cell electron of any atom then it excited state and uh, go to outer cell and after some time when it came down to that inner cell uh, uh, this electron will emit some radiation and this emitted radiation is called fluorescence and the wavelength length wavelength of this 
fluorescence is very higher than incident radiation okay so these are the basic concept of fluorescence and it's also called x-ray emission and this is the complete handmade source and complete dis discussion about this particular topic i hope you understand the concept and uh, this handmade notes will helpful to uh, clear your concept and make your own notes and for your semester exam as well as CSIR net exam preparations and and this is the end of the video thank you so much for watching